The Eurozone has been hit by multiple shocks in the last 15 years. We had the financial crisis, we had the debt crisis, we had COVID, and now we have the war with Ukraine. The ECB uh, is facing uh, uh, high inflation as a consequence of the war and also about of the reopening of the economy post-COVID, but is also fa is facing a negative shock on real income due to the energy cost. And the question is how to deal with these trade-offs and uh, what, what to do to deal with these trade-offs. My research is about uh, how to best use monetary and fiscal tools to respond to these shocks. The methodology uses uh, uh, a very interesting data set that has been collected uh, actually by ECB authors, ECB researchers, uh, which uh, is about the immediate effect of policy announce announcement by ECB policymakers on different elements of policy, both interest rate, what they call forward guidance, and asset purchase. And we could use this data um, to identify exogenous policy moves. Monetary policy in the euro area has a double dimension because when we change financial, when the monetary policy authority change financial conditions for the euro as a whole, this has also implication for spreads and divergence in financial conditions across countries. So the difference between the interest rate on German government debt and the interest rate on Italian debt for example. During COVID, the ECB implemented a special purchase program of government bonds, which gave it a lot of flexibility on what to buy. That program was called PEP. It worked extremely well in compressing the spreads between the interest rate of different sovereign assets. We should be ready to use a similar instrument in this new crisis, which is related to the war of Ukraine.